Hello everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel, Find Joy in the Journey. Today I will be making oven baked chicken with gravy. I started by washing my chicken thoroughly and then I dried it with a paper towel. I'm going to add olive oil. Adding olive oil to your meat will help the spices adhere to the meat better and also I believe it adds flavor and uh, it keeps it moist while it's cooking. It seals in the moisture. So I'm gonna add olive oil to the chicken, rub it in, and then I'll add my seasonings. The seasonings I'll be using is the standard onion powder, garlic powder, the all-purpose seasoning, a little bit of a Cajun seasoning, and also a, a ranch seasoning. Now the ranch seasoning it's just like uh, the recipes that call for you to use a packet of ranch dressing mix, but I found it in a, a bottle. It's this ranch seasoning, so I use that instead. So you make sure the chicken is thoroughly coated and seasoned. You can season it the way you like, the way you prefer. Now, I'm starting with the dark meat. This is boneless chicken thighs and also drumsticks. With some of the drumsticks that I noticed that was sort of thick, I kind of scored it just a little bit um, so the seasoning can get down inside there. Okay, and I also pulled the skin back up. So now I have a a heated skillet with olive oil in it. I'm going to pan sear all the chicken. And like I was saying, I started with dark meat, the chicken thighs, and the chicken drumsticks. But I also I am doing chicken breast because I prefer white meat. So I seasoned the chicken breast off uh, camera. But I had to sear all the drumsticks, all the thighs, and all the breast. Pan searing um, before you place the chicken in the oven, it helps to, uh, the outer part of the chicken it has a crispy caramelized look to it. And it also, when you sear it, it helps uh, lock in the juices. You want your chicken to be moist and well seasoned. Also with the chicken breast, I noticed the chicken breast was sort of thick also. I scored them also. Scoring means you just, you just cut these little slits into the meat so the seasoning can get down in there. Now after searing, pan searing the chicken, I place it into a, a roaster. I'm adding chopped seasoning, which is bell pepper, onions, and I do believe celery is in this seasoning mix also. And then I'm going to add a can of cream of chicken soup. This is to make the gravy that goes on, on the chicken. So I'm gonna ladle that in first. And then uh, instead of using two cans of the cream of chicken soup, I decided to mix it up and use a can of cream of chicken soup and then also a can of cream of mushroom soup but just do it the way you like if you want to use both chicken then use both chicken if you want to uh, use just the mushroom do that I just thought it would add a, a little different flavor to it but I needed both cans because uh, it's a lot of chicken you can't see, uh, but the breast is down in there, the thighs, all of it is in this one roasting pan. So after adding the, uh, the cream of chicken soup and the cream of mushroom soup, I'm going to add more liquid, which is chicken broth. I'm trying to layer the flavors instead of adding water. Now there's some juices that are gonna come from the chicken, but it's not gonna be enough. You need more because you're gonna make a gravy to it. So I'm adding chicken broth. I think I pretty much used that in an entire 32 ounce uh, container. 
So after that, I'm going to place it in the oven until it's completely cooked and tender. Uh, it was in there, uh, I don't know how long, but it was set at 385 degrees. And here we are. Now, I also added a packet of gravy to thicken up the gravy. I like a thick gravy. I made rice for the kids because they prefer rice and I made mashed potatoes for me and my husband. And I also used the early sun glow corn that I harvested from my garden and my homemade butter. Look at my cute little butter dish with the cow. Isn't that adorable? But there's the complete meal and it was delicious. All right, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day now. Bye.